My, 23F, boyfriend, 23M, revealed a fetish to me and I can't look at him the same way. Will I ever get over this? My boyfriend is a great, loving guy. I don't want to make this post too long, so I'm just going to say, he recently revealed he has a fetish for spreading STDs. Let me make it clear. He's not actually spreading STDs, but he likes to pretend he is. There's something to me that seems very malicious about it. I agreed to try out some kind of play with it because I felt like he deserved that, but him saying, I'm giving you syphilis right now and you can't even stop me was the biggest turn off of my life. He says this is a common fetish. I felt so dirty. I told him I didn't like it and he said we don't have to do it again, but I can't stop thinking about this. You know this is petty and immature but this is burned into my mind. And there's a silly part of me wondering what if he'll cheat on me and give me an STD on purpose even though I know he loves me and would never do that. I always end up thinking about this during sex and it's like a cold shower. How do I get over this? I feel like I'm ruining a great relationship with a great guy because I can't get over myself. No offense to anyone who has this fetish by the way. Get checked for STDs especially syphilis. I don't know if this is a common fetish. I know a lot of kinks, and I've never heard of this. It sounds like what bothers you about it is the fact that it's a non-consensual fantasy. The person who would be getting the STD would not have control or possibly even knowledge of it. If it is just a fantasy, there's no harm in him having this kink, but there's also no harm whatsoever in you not being okay with it. Personally, I would not be and would be feeling similarly shook. I don't know if I would have any romantic feelings left, but, there's lots of unique role plays out there, and there may be someone into that kind of sensei. Just to cover all of your bases if you distrust him enough to be concerned about cheating. Are you aware of his sexual history? Did you both get tested before dating? There are STDs that are much less visible on men compared to women. It might be good to get a checkup with your gynecologist if this sounds like something you might be concerned about. I've heard of some weird ass fetishes. This is not among that list. I am not saying it doesn't exist. I am saying that him claiming it is common is the biggest pile of BS I have heard. Would get checked for STDs if I were you. He says this is a common fetish. I don't think it is, really. How long have you known him? I'm giving you syphilis right now and you can't even stop me. AFC I sicked in my mouth a little reading that and I can't even imagine how desert dry my fanny would go if someone said that to me during sex. I guess he can't help what turns him on but you can't help what turns you off. You all need to actually talk about this fetish like grown ups. I hope you feel secure enough in the relationship to say how it lead to some anxieties about him actually giving you an STD even though you know he wouldn't cheat on you. How it made you feel. That's how you move forward. Husband, 28 meters, is planning on hiring a homeless black man to go to our 10-year HS reunion this summer. I'm, 28F, a little crossed out at his racism, he says I need to lighten up. So obviously knew my husband in high school but we didn't date until college and now have been married 5 years. Our 10-year HS reunion is coming up this summer. My husband was like the big time troublemaker in high school that everyone was just kind of tired of by the time we were seniors so he didn't have any close connections by the time he graduated. I have other friends but I also do keep in touch with some friends from high school. My husband works at a downtown office park and however he managed he has become actually good friends with a small group of homeless people who hang out there during the day. He smokes weed with them, eats lunch, plays cards, etc. It's not my favorite thing in the world because it seems sort of dangerous but he seems to really enjoy himself with them. He came home tonight telling me how excited he now is for our reunion. I was curious because before tonight he swore we wasn't going. So I pressed further and I think what he told me was yeah I'm now a 52 year old black man who's down on his luck. 
I thought he was just joking around so I asked him to clarify later on and he said that his friend James from the park was going to go in his place to the reception. I asked him if he was kidding. He said no, James agreed to do it for $500 and an eighth of cocaine, whatever the hell that means. I still thought he was kidding so I asked if James intended to be my date and he said that would be super cool but he didn't want to put me in a weird spot. I said everyone knows we're married and isn't this already a weird spot. He said that's why it would be so funny. I really do think he's going to follow through with this. To me this is so racist I can't even stand it, that in addition to it being so embarrassing. What can I get him to do to stop this? I have about 5 weeks. Tell him it's not funny to put your wife in a shitty, miserable situation so you can chuckle to yourself for a minute or two before you start doing lines with the boys. It also feels like he's using James as a prop for his entertainment, which is really fucked up. If this were just a prank with the boys, he wouldn't be paying him hundreds of dollars to do it. Of course a person who is sleeping rough is going to say yes to that even if it makes them uncomfortable. He should not be putting someone in that position in the first place. He wants this man to go humiliate himself for his own amusement. What's funny about turning into a homeless, drug addicted black man? What's funny about being one? And now this man is actually going to be the punchline of the joke about his own life. How dehumanizing. Plus is he putting this guy in danger? They're going to check ID and just not let this man in. They may call the police on him if he insists on getting in and put him in actual physical danger. This is horrible enough that I'd reconsider the whole house husband. It's nuts that it has to be said, but here it goes, a good person wouldn't do this. My husband was like the big time troublemaker in high school that everyone was just kind of tired of by the time we were seniors. I am curious what made you pick this absolute winner. He's a good guy overall, except all these huge red flags and issues that have been there from the very beginning. That's usually the way this goes. My husband is leaving me for his sex worker. What do I do? I'm 28F, my husband is 31M. I've never made a post on here but this is too embarrassing to tell anyone I know, so I'm sorry if this is jumbled or doesn't follow the rules. My life is falling apart. My husband likes DDLG. I don't but I love him. I felt sick every time I would try and be a little girl for him but he kept telling me how unfulfilled he was so I let him go to a sex worker. Maybe this was wrong on my part and I'm at fault but I just wanted him to be happy. He tells me that he feels closer with her now. He feels connected. He feels like she needs him as her daddy. He has two kids who actually need him and he doesn't fucking care. I told him the sex worker doesn't love him, it's her job, and he says she does. What do I do? I can't tell anyone this and I feel like I'm shutting down. Will he wake up and realize how stupid this is. If it was up to me I'd let him fucking go but our kids need him. If he does wake up and say that he will stay, would you really ever see him in the same light again? He has chosen his own needs and fantasy over his family, whether he finds out it is just a job, she loves him but has other clients and he is okay with that, none of it will stop the hurt that he has given you. So decide for yourself, what do you want? What kind of life for you and your children? One with a parent who is checked out but staying as his dreams fell apart and has already said he doesn't care. Or you find a path with you and them and potentially a partner who actually has empathy and compassion for other people and who doesn't put a sexual need above everything in his life. You file for divorce and try for full custody since he's leaving you for a sex worker. What you need to do to for you and your kids. This guy is not worth it. First off, I'm so sorry you're going through that. The bottom line is, if he doesn't seem to care about the needs of his actual children, perhaps they may be better off without being exposed to the kind of parenting that he is able to give them. You can't force him to want to do right by them or understand that their needs should always be the priority. Maybe he'll understand it in time, maybe not. Right now it sounds like you are all better off without that negative and dysfunctional dynamic. You can live your life and maybe meet someone else who will be the kind of partner and role model you and the kids deserve. I agree with all the posts here telling Op to divorce him. He's disrespectful and doesn't value his family. The kids will be fine growing up with divorced parents, 
and a happy mom. But, please please stay strong. This feels like one of those scenarios where he'll come begging to come back when things don't turn out the way he expects, whether that is financial, or if the sex worker ends up rejecting him. Think long and hard. Don't take him back. He has proven to be selfish and self-serving. Not good husband material. Let him go. He is a sex addict willing to abandon his family and, eventually, go bankrupt, to get his rocks off. You're better off without him. If you can wring child support out of him, great if you can't, start looking for ways to keep him as far away from you and your family as possible, both legally and financially. He will come back once the rush dies down and he finds himself all alone and unfulfilled. Don't take him back.